All right guys, so today we're finally gonna be doing that mod that I've been super, super excited to do, the one that's totally new to me, and that is we're gonna be cutting off this exhaust and swapping it out for another one. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be swapping out the exhaust on the 2017 BMW 330i for another exhaust, not an aftermarket one per se. It is OEM BMW, but it is off a 340 instead. So like I kinda said in my previous videos, if you guys have been watching this build, I wanted to swap out these exhausts right over here, so both of them being on the the driver's side for the dual exit exhaust. I just think they look way better. Now, I don't know if it's gonna make a difference in terms of sound. It might sound a little better, so we'll definitely take some before and after exhaust sounds uh, regardless but I'm really doing this more so for the aesthetic of it. Because again, guys, currently the exhaust just goes on that one side. The tips are a lot smaller and just also doesn't look symmetrical, which is the biggest thing for me. However, the one that we're gonna be swapping it out for is of course symmetrical. Uh, again, guys, it is OEM BMW. It's just off a 340. So here is the new exhaust. Obviously, guys, you can tell this thing is definitely not new. I actually found this one in Brooklyn on Facebook Marketplace. The dude ended up switching his exhaust for an aftermarket one, then obviously didn't need this one. Uh, kind of worked out on my favor i did buy this one for 180 bucks so if you guys want to do the same thing definitely go check on facebook marketplace or wherever you kind of buy used parts i don't know if one off a 335 can work uh, but i know the ones off a 340 can work and i believe even a 240 so if you guys can find a used 240 or 340 exhaust it should pretty much work if you also have a 330i yeah overall guys this thing is in pretty good condition now obviously the tips are a little beat they're a little dirty but we're going to be swapping out these later we're not going to be doing that in today's video but we will be doing it later uh same thing for the other side uh one thing to note is this one actually looks like maybe when they're cutting it they kind of like bent this thing pretty bad now normally that would be a problem for me but since i'm actually going to be cutting this exhaust right up here by the dimple uh, which i will explain a little later guys i'm not too worried because i'm pretty sure by here it should still be pretty round that way we can connect this to the current exhaust and we should be good to go now this dimple that i was explaining guys i don't know if you can really see it too well but you can definitely feel it it's about right over here on your exhaust system uh this is actually a spot that bmw notes so if you guys get a m performance exhaust or something like that this is actually where it's noted to cut it so this exhaust has the dimple right there and then the one currently on the 330i also should have that same dimple in the same location. So if I cut both exhaust systems in that dimple, we should be able to connect the two. Now the way that we're gonna be connecting it is not through welding because obviously guys, I can't weld. We're gonna be using this clamp right over here, which is also OEM BMW. Now I did get this off FCP Euro. I'll leave this linked down in the description below if you guys wanna get the same one. Now this whole dimple and clamp process isn't necessarily for the 330 to 340i exhaust conversion. It's more so geared for the M Performance exhaust connection uh, but regardless, this should still work. Again, no welding required, so we're just gonna use this. It actually has, I believe, the torque spec written on it, which is, I think, 38 newton meters, which is pretty nice because I'll be honest, I didn't know the torque spec until looking at that. So like I said, guys, right now the plan is to cut off the exhaust on the 330. Uh, we'll cut this exhaust in that same dimple spot so they can both line up, and then we'll connect them with that clamp, torque it down properly, and we should be good to go. But before I keep on going, guys, I wanna take a minute to thank today's sponsor, and that is Simply Carbon Fiber. So if you guys haven't heard of Simply Carbon Fiber, they make a whole bunch of carbon fiber accessories like wallets, sunglasses, phone cases, all made out of premium real carbon fiber. So as you guys can see, I have their slim carbon fiber wallet. This thing's amazing. It holds up to seven cards and even has a clip on the back for your cash. As you guys see, I constantly work on my cars and sometimes I get a little careless with my phone, with my wallet, and this thing, I can definitely tell you guys out of first-hand experience, this thing can take some abuse. So not only is this thing super durable, it's super practical, but it also looks really, really good. As you guys can see, that is legitimately real carbon fiber. If you're a car enthusiast, you definitely love your carbon fiber like me. So if you guys wanna get this wallet or any of their other carbon fiber accessories, I'll leave a link down in the description below. There's also a promo code for you guys to use to get an additional 10% off. So definitely go check them out, guys. Again, thank you to Simply Carbon Fiber for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Now if you guys are vigilant, you probably notice this is obviously a diffuser meant for the 330i so it has a double exhaust cutout on this side and then obviously no exhaust cutout on this side so uh, of course when i install the new exhaust system it's not going to fit right over here so something that we do have to do is take off this diffuser and replace it for another one again if you guys have been watching my channel you'll know that i actually recently converted this 330i which was a base model 
to an M Sport, at least in terms of the bumpers. So this bumper and diffuser is uh, pretty much brand new. I think I've had it on the car for like two weeks at most. Uh, so when I actually ordered it, I did get the original diffuser for the 330i. The reason I did that was because I do want to have the original. So if I ever want to take it back to stock, I can easily do that. And then when I upgrade the diffuser, I will do a dual exit to accommodate this new exhaust system. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have the new diffuser yet. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is actually just take off this one so we can get the exhaust system on. Uh, but we're not going to have a diffuser on the car for a little bit, which is going to look pretty silly, honestly. But uh, it is what it is. I am ordering a new diffuser. It will be a more aggressive carbon fiber diffuser. But that will be another video. Uh, again, guys, I'm also going to change out the tips on the new exhaust system as well. Uh, but for now, we're just going to really focus on getting the new exhaust on because I think that's going to be a process in itself. This is the first time I'm ever doing something like this. So it's totally new to me. So unfortunately, guys, in today's video, we're not really going to get like the complete final look. We're just going to be focusing on the exhaust but if you guys do want to see that make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already but yeah guys with all that talking out of the way let's just get to installing this thing what i'm going to do first is actually set you guys up on a tripod uh take a few exhaust clips of the car right now guys heard this thing is super quiet now just for reference this car currently has no mods on it other than a tune uh, it did have an intake for a little bit uh, but I took that off for a reason but I'm actually gonna be putting it back on later but it does currently have the resonator the cat it has everything so it's pretty much a stock exhaust again other than for like a subtle burble tune but uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet, guys. Uh, I'm hoping that actually makes it a little louder because this is a little too quiet for my taste. So what I'm gonna do, since this exhaust is probably still a little hot uh, from my drive here and then also revving it right there, uh, I'm actually just gonna take these exhaust cutters. But yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna cut this exhaust system right now because obviously this one is cold. So again, I'm gonna be cutting it from this dimple, which is a BMW reference point. And then like I said before, we'll connect it with this clamp. So with that said, guys, let me just get to cutting this thing. All right, so after wrestling with this thing for, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes, I finally got it cut. As you guys can see, probably not the cleanest cut, I'll be honest with you. Again, guys, do keep in mind, this is the first time I'm doing this. Anyways, with this one now done, hopefully the one that's currently on the car is a little cooler. I did drive about like 15 minutes and then I revved it for a little bit, but I really wasn't speeding or like pushing the car. So hopefully it's not too hot, guys, and we can start cutting that one. There are a few more steps than just cutting it off. Obviously, there's a few hangers holding the exhaust up. But what I'm gonna do is actually just cut it first. That way it doesn't fall on me after I cut it. Uh, once I do that, then we'll be able to take off like the hangers. Uh, and then we can start transferring some stuff onto this new exhaust. So of course being the hangers on these sides. And then we also need to transfer the valve actuator. Even though this is a 340 exhaust, the one on the 330 should work on this one just fine. So yeah, with that said, I'll probably throw you guys on the tripod again. And let's hope that this one goes as smoothly as the first one and we're able to just easily cut it. So I did go ahead and cut the exhaust underneath. Uh, now I'm hoping I cut it all the way through. It's kind of hard to tell because it's still hanging up there. So I wasn't able to actually drop it and separate it from the rest of the exhaust system. I will say this one was a lot harder because I kept on losing my grip on like the cutting tool. And I think I kept on starting like new lines. Uh, you guys know what I mean. Like obviously like once you're cutting, you want to stick with the same lines. However, we'll find out how good of a job I did when we actually try to drop this thing. So like I was saying before guys, what's holding it up is those two hangers. The other thing I have to do is take off the sensor. And then I think I might get my brother to help me bring it down because once I'm underneath the car, like I don't want to drop it. You guys probably saw I have a jack stand over there. I'm going to try to leverage that to help me out, but I uh, don't know how safe that is. So we'll try this out. But yeah, let me just show you guys where those two hangers are and where the sensor is. So let me take you guys with me underneath the car. This is story of my life right here. Uh, all right. So hopefully you guys can see in the lighting adjust, but on this side, so the driver's side, you'll actually see the valve actuator. So this is the sensor. And then right next to the valve actuator, you guys will actually see the hanger. So this is the rubber thing. I always forget what these things are called, but they're basically to like muffle the sound of the exhaust vibrating. Uh, we're not gonna take this off yet. We're gonna take off the hanger right over here. Uh, I don't know what size this is. It looks like maybe a 13, something like that. We'll figure it out. And then on this other side here, guys, you can probably see 
right there. The camera can see before I can. Uh, same thing on this side. Obviously, nothing for the valve on this side. It's only the other ones. So uh, we got to disconnect the sensor, disconnect these two. And then what I'm thinking of doing is kind of like putting like a jack stand right over here to hold it up for the most part because obviously when I let it go, it's going to start falling on me and that's going to be a bad day. So uh, with that said, guys, let me see if I can first get this thing disconnected and then we'll start undoing, you know, all that stuff. Alright guys, so another update. Uh, I was an idiot. I set up the camera so I can get me removing the sensor and then I dropped the exhaust and I completely forgot to change the camera angle. So you guys probably didn't get a good look of me dropping the exhaust, uh, but I will show you guys what I did. Uh, but yeah, let me just kind of update you really quickly. So here's the sensor for the valve actuator. So if you just press it downward and then pull it out, it should come out pretty easy. So that was that piece there. Here's the old exhaust, like I said guys. There's these two spots here and then the other side. So there are 13 millimeter nuts basically holding them in. Like I was saying before, we are gonna have to take this off and kind of transfer it onto the new exhaust. And then here's the valve actuator. Uh, this we're also gonna have to transfer. So I need to figure all that out. Now in terms of dropping the exhaust, hopefully you guys can see, but right there I have a jack stand holding the rest of the exhaust. Uh, I would highly recommend that guys because when you're trying to drop this one, uh, this piece is basically what's holding up the rest of the exhaust. So if you drop this one, the rest of it will kind of come down. So I used a jack stand to hold the other piece still as I basically ripped off the rest of this one because although I did cut this and the cut was pretty good, it was kind of being held on by like a thread uh, at the top there. So kind of similar to this one here. So just keep that in mind guys, keep like a jack stand or something to hold up the rest of the exhaust as you take off this piece here. But yeah, otherwise guys, I have both exhausts cut and ready to go. So now what I need to start doing is transferring over all those things onto the new exhaust here. So again, I'll throw you guys on a tripod and I'll try to knock that out. All right, so that actually wasn't too bad, guys. I transferred everything over from the old exhaust to the new one. Now for the valve actuator, it wasn't too bad. I basically just paid close attention to how it was on the old one, and I basically just repeated it to this one. There's only three 10 millimeters holding it in, and you wanna pay close attention to how this piece, this little like clip aligns, because that's what's actually gonna connect the valve to the actuator, which is gonna go into the sensor. So just be conscious of how this is placed in your current exhaust when placing it into the new one. Next thing I did was transfer this from this side and the other side from the old exhaust to this one. Uh, to take it out from the old one, it is a bit of a pain. I used WD-40 to kind of act as like a lubricant to make it easier to take out. Uh, and then putting it in, it's a little easier because as you guys can tell, that pin right there is kind of shaped for it to go in, but not for it to go out. But otherwise guys, this exhaust is pretty much ready to go inside the car. So we will do that, but I kind of figured we'd have a little bit of fun with it. So since the car doesn't really have a muffler right now, uh, let's see what it sounds like. It definitely sounds a lot louder. Now, I wanna say it sounds better, like it doesn't necessarily have a nice tone to it, but it definitely sounds louder, it sounds more aggressive. The burbles are way more aggressive. Would I recommend doing this? Obviously not. Um, if you guys do wanna do a muffler delete, do it the right way. Obviously, you know, just do like exhaust tips and all that and like some type of piping just without a muffler. Uh, but yeah, just probably not the way to do it. But again, guys, just for fun, that's the only reason why I did it. Obviously, I'm not sticking with this. So but yeah, anyways, guys, with that said, let's just jump into installing this new exhaust system because it is getting really hot and I'm getting tired. So what we basically need to do is go back underneath the car, get the clamp on, and then try to slide this on with the clamp 
then we're gonna have to try to hang it up on both sides. Oh, and one more thing, guys. I do have to remove the diffuser so that this thing can fit. I'm not gonna go into detail about how to remove the diffuser because it can vary from car to car. Since this is an aftermarket M Sport kit, I think it's actually a little different. Uh, but yeah, just in general, there's gonna be a few like bolts and screws and stuff like that underneath it, and then clips on top. So I'm gonna undo all that. We'll take out the clips, and then after that, this thing should actually fit. It's not gonna look the best, but you know, we'll fix that in another video. But for now, guys, let's try to knock that out. And just like that guys the exhaust is up and it is on we are good to go I don't know how well you guys were able to see from that previous clip But I actually didn't end up getting my brother's help I did it myself held up the exhaust with one hand and then I was able to just get the nut in Then I came back I tightened it up I tightened it just until it was hand tight I didn't torque it down and then of course I slid it onto the clamp to attach it to the rest of the exhaust these were 17 millimeters, so for these I actually did torque them down to 38 newton meters, uh, just because that's what it said on the clamp. Hopefully that's right. I'm guessing if they have it written on there, that's what it's supposed to be. But let me turn on the car for you guys and do a couple revs and stuff like that, just so you guys can hear what it sounds like. And then I'll give you guys my opinion, because again, uh, the sounds probably don't really come across too well on camera, but I can hear it in person. So let me just tell you guys what I think. <laughs> So you guys are able to hear it there for yourselves. If you weren't able to tell on camera, this thing actually sounds more aggressive. It sounds a little louder. The burbles pop a little more. Now, by the way, all these exhaust clips that I've been doing were in Sport Plus, so I kept it consistent throughout. Now, it's not crazy. It's not dramatic. I want to say that you guys should go ahead and get this exhaust if you're thinking about making your car louder. You're probably off just taking your stock exhaust and doing like a muffler delete. I mainly did it for the aesthetic, the dual exit setup. And it's also just a nice plus that the car sounds a little louder, a little more aggressive. It does still sound tasteful. So I think maybe if I do like a high flow catted down pipe, it might sound perfect, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, guys, otherwise we're pretty much done. The valve actuator is installed. The exhaust is on. And honestly, something I was worried about, but it feels completely solid. Like this thing isn't going anywhere. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love the way it looks. Now, obviously with no diffuser, it looks a little funny. Hopefully this doesn't last too long. Hopefully my diffuser will come in pretty quickly. And then once we get that new aggressive diffuser on, especially with this dual exhaust setup, I think it's gonna look 10 times better than it did before and 100 times better than it did when it had the base bumper as well. So this car is definitely coming a long way. Although I loved my 435 and I think that was a more exciting car inherently, I obviously had a six cylinder. It was a sleek two door coupe. I think we're making a bigger transformation on this 330, which is pretty ironic. We're taking it from literally just a normal base to something that I think is gonna be pretty cool, guys. I'm actually super, super excited about this car. Uh, I'm super happy with the way that it's turning out. Uh, and these mods are all kind of new to me. So I know it is another F chassis car. I went from an F32 to an F30, uh, but we are doing new things and different things. But yeah, guys, with that said, this video is pretty much done. If you guys wanna follow this build, I think it's gonna be a really exciting one and a very satisfying one because I think the transformation is just going to be a lot larger. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, we have the diffuser coming. We'll definitely do some different exhaust tips. But yeah, anyways, don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.